star flagship public sector organizations. And I'm so happy to hear uh, about these wonderful initiatives that you have been taking. Let me turn to you, uh, Dr. Chaube, and uh, let us know from your side, on the phosphorus side, what UPL exactly is doing in this area. Thank you. Good morning to all of you. So about the UPL, uh, we are uh, working uh, along with farmers in 138 countries uh, to feed the world sustainably. And uh, UPL is basically crop protection company. Uh, we are fifth largest uh, agrochemicals globally. And uh, uh, we, we are working on the product portfolio where we can bring maximum product from the sustainable and differentiated product. And uh, uh, this year, if you see Dow Jones Sustainability Index, UPL has been a score, uh, highest a score in DJSI among agrochemicals globally. And uh, we are the first agrochemicals in the world who has been listed in DJSI World Index. So you will not find till date that any agrochemicals has been qualified in the DJSI World Index. First time an agrochemical company qualified. So we are basically working on four areas uh, in climate change. If you refer our sustainability report, then um, every year we used to come out what we are uh, working and what we are doing in sustainability. We have taken four goals and uh, we have fixed a target against all those four goals and that has been approved with our board and uh, continuously we are working. So first our goal is reduce environment footprint. So we are working in our manufacturing plant to reduce our own environment footprint uh, inside uh, manufacturing operation. At this moment, uh, we have uh, 50, approximately 50 manufacturing plants globally. And if you see our credential in last three years, then in last three years, we have reduced uh, water 41%, carbon approximately 30% in last three years, and waste, we have reduced 57% in last three years. So a lot of work we are doing and a lot of actions we are taking inside our manufacturing plant such that our environment footprint get reduced. And uh, if you see the target, long-term target, then uh, long-term our goal in reduce environment footprint is carbon neutrality by 2040. So we have set target that by 2040, across the operation globally, we will achieve carbon neutrality by 2040. We have set our science-based target, and our science-based target is validated and approved by UN-initiated organization, SBTI. And uh, we are on track, and uh, uh, we hope that uh, we will achieve the target as for the target set by the SBTI. Second, our goal is uh, enhance food security. So we are working uh, on a lot of projects and on our product portfolio to enhance the food security of the world. And at this moment, we have taken target that by 2027, we will have uh, at least 50% product portfolio from sustainable and differentiated product. So if you see biologicals, uh, at this moment, we are number one in the world. So a lot of the biologicals uh, we, we have brought, which is sustainable in order to protect the crop. Also, several innovative product we are bringing. One uh, famous product, Jiba, we brought. Jiba used to reduce approximately 25% water inside agricultural field. And uh, sustainable uh, sugarcane, uh, sustainable rice production, 
those projects are going on and we are implementing across the world. Our uh, third sustainability goal is where we are doing a lot of work on the sustainable sourcing. And uh, our target is that by 2025, uh, we will achieve at least 60% uh, sustainable sourcing. Uh, they are uh, uh, around the world, we have 5,000 supplier base. And uh, uh, we have disclosed all the scoop three emission, which comes from the services and goods from all these 5,000 uh, suppliers who used to supply the services and goods to UPL. We are working along all the suppliers and uh, uh, our wish is to decrease their environment footprint also. And in that direction, we are doing a lot of work. And the last, fourth, our goal is uh, community well-being. Uh, there we have set target to impact at least 3 million people by 2025 uh, with our water, education, and health projects. A lot of projects we are undertaking globally. Uh, we have created a UPL University. And uh, in, at UPL University, you will see bachelor, master's, and doctoral level program in the environment and sustainability. Recently, we have started one course for the professionals, experienced professional in industry, postgraduate diploma in environment compliance and sustainability. And there also we are trying that let a skilled people comes in the sustainability. So I think these all four things we are doing and uh, working. So I think later on we will take sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mrithunjay. Very comprehensive presentation. Brilliant. Uh, let me turn uh, to our international specialists for now. And it gives me great pleasure to connect to you, Susanna Hazenar. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Tell us what's happening at SAP uh, globally and what all initiatives you've been taking. Thank you, Dr. Chatterjee. Um, indeed, SAP is one of the world's largest uh, technology companies, and our customers generate 87% of the global commerce. So with this deep...